Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. You know where you are already at. Hey, Dale Chanel's Sport Ace World. If you got, if you forgot, I just reintroduced myself to you all. Please remember to subscribe to my videos on my channel. If you haven't done so, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to me. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to me. Okay, okay, okay. Share my videos and definitely like my videos. Today we're going to be talking about Atlanta Black Star does it again. Yes, they do. They breaking tea. They putting their entertainment news, gossip news, however you want to see it, right down on Front Street for us. Okay. Their new uh salacious story they got going on now is about Kenya Moore and her husband. And she taking him to a soccer game and he looking like this. <laughs> does it seem like he is annoyed or don't want to be there? Something similar to this kiss he's trying to give her. But it ain't no tone action at all. Don't really. It's like, like she's in this picture. She's just photographed with a friend. Again, photographed with a friend. And he ain't even really dressed to the part of being like he's a husband or groom. What kind of mess does he got on? Okay, that just seems like he's coming back from church. And, you know, he's at a barbecue somewhere. And he's just trying to be a little comfortable. Okay. That ain't no marriage. They got married, I think, in St. Lucia. Haven't seen any public record in Atlanta, Georgia. I ain't checked, but, the, you know, the other people check, the other vloggers, content creators. They ain't found no um, marriage license under their two names, under their married names. No. You know why? Because it ain't no marriage. If they had it over there in St. Lucia, they just had a meet and greet and falsified the rest of the stuff. Now, I can say he is the father of that child because she looks smack dab just like him when he look in the eyes. The eye feature or the facial feature with the eyes and the nose look real closely. That's Mark all day, every day. But I think he is just a on the down low type of man. He's an actor and he wanted to uh, probably have a baby himself but couldn't conceive, you know, because I believe he's gay. I believe he's in a gay committed relationship and he wants to get back to that life. Okay? Yes. Because at one time he didn't want to tape. He didn't want to have anything to do with uh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because he know once you get out there in the public world like that on social media, it's going to be everybody and your grandmama pulling out information on you that you don't want to be known. That's why uh, I believe Kenya pretty much kept him a secret from Bravo. And all of these other vloggers and bloggers out here. Because people in the entertainment sector, when they try to get news on you, they will spend ends and odds kind of money out there to investigate you and to get the information they need if they really wanted to. You know, I ain't like that. I ain't that hardcore. Whatever come across my screen on my phone or on my computer, I feel like talking about it, I talk about it. It ain't that serious, you know what I'm saying? I'm just giving you my perspective, my opinion, what I think. I could be wrong, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, 9 times of 10, I'm really not. Anything that's done in the dark will come to light. And Kenya is known for acting. She's an actress <laughs> herself. She wanted this fantasy of a dream type of white picket fence, perfect husband, perfect child, Perfect house, perfect career. Uh, she she likes to work. She likes to have her own money. And nothing wrong with that. But she wanted to put herself like the Brady Bunch or um, what do you call it? The Dick Van Dyke show. When they just had a child or Lucy. Uh Lucy Ball show. Y'all remember that? I love Lucy. Just had the uh perfect husband, perfect uh son, and it was just her. They was a, a already put together family. So, this is my deal, my pun intended, my opinion on the issue. Do I think the marriage is fake? Yes. Do I think Mark Bailey is the father of Brooklyn? Yes. Do I think both of them wanted a child? Yes. But Kenya is paying an additional role and money, probably more than likely to him, uh, the fee to play her husband. And I'm pretty sure it's a contractual agreement. They may need to stay together for two or three years just for the papers. Or, you know, the, you know, just have it like culture where people won't say, oh, you just had a baby out of wedlock. Or you just went to the sperm bank and got you a donor 
and, and you had you a baby when you could have just waited on the Lord, you know. Yes, all that will be said and more. Okay, and she just didn't want to put up with it. She wanted to have that marriage. She wanted to have that man in her corner, nice looking, affluent in the neighborhood, got his own business. Da 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 da. So it's the perfect role, the perfect guy she got to play her part in her movie. Okay, I think it's a real, a real life time movie in a sense that she don't construct it and put together and spin her own narrative on how she wants it to play out. And it's not far-fetched to say she got married on a whim, had a baby, tried to make it work, didn't work, so they had to go their separate ways. Now she's going to be looked at as a, uh, if she do get divorced, which I'm pretty sure is coming. If it's not next year, it's going to be the year after that. Just as my spiel on it, because it ain't going to be another baby, I can tell you that much. And if it is, then I can eat my words and say, oh, I was just all wrong with that observation. But my thing is, can you don't put this man up to having a, what do you call it, a monetary type of agreement with the baby link? And like I said, he probably wanted a child, too, because it's not too far fresh. Because I know my daughter uh, was friends with this guy. She's still our, our friends. And he still asks her from time to time, but she's not going to do it. He wanted her to be a surrogate or a mother for his child uh, by using her eggs and he's going to use his sperm, but it's going to be artificially inseminated into her. They weren't going to have sex or anything. And he wanted to have a baby by her because he really wanted to have a baby. And he knew that she wouldn't, or he thought she knew, she wouldn't have ties to the baby. And I was like, because she asked me about it. And I said, girl, don't do that. Because what if you have that baby for him and then when it's time for you to want to have a baby, you can't have a baby. Then you're going to go be looking for your baby that you have that man and you're going to sign all your rights away. And he really has sole custody of the child. He probably don't want you in the child's life. But so I know that factor can play a part. And I really believe that's what Kenya did. She went and sought out the perfect maid, uh, did her research at some sperm bank and she probably wanted to meet the man, and the man probably was very intrigued. And she probably pop propositioned him with this whole facade of, you know, getting married. All the costs will be on her, and uh, artificial insemination of his sperm, uh, his DNA, and all that. And they make a baby, and they just live together for a couple of years, three or four years max, and then they get a divorce, an amicable divorce, and they go their separate ways. That's my spiel. Will it come to fruition? I don't know. He seems like a nice guy. He just don't seem connected to her. If you looked at all of my pictures that I tried to get of them, he show more love when he's uh, expressing or holding a uh, baby girl Brooklyn, you know, than he do with Kenya. Everything just seems like it's forced or put together. And there's no love in those pictures. And that last picture that is, you know, going across social media of him and Kenya at a soccer game, and he's not looking in through. I don't care if your, your uh, team did lose or whatever. You're going to smile for the camera. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even if you give a little nice smirk or whatever. But this man seemed like he was very uninterested in anything that was going on. He looked like he didn't really want to be there. He was just disassociated with the whole thing, even though he knew the camera was going up clicking a picture of his behind and Kenya was going to unleash it on social media and you're going to have all this frenzy. Like I said, the, 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 the money must be getting real low because Kenya knows she was in talks and stayed in contact with Bravo uh, after she ended up having to have to leave the show because they weren't going to fool with her unless she gave them information and footage. And see, that's probably what it was. He wasn't ready to open up his life to Kenya because somebody was going to probably be like, oh, uh, you don't want nobody to know about your other life you, you get down with. Not that he's gay or whatever, but he probably wanted to say that for himself and his partner. You know what I'm saying? He don't put everything on blast. Because, yes, he would survive, the, you know, the scandal or he thought he may be able to survive it, but he didn't want to pull his other life into it all you see what i'm saying so it looks like he's ready to pull it all in he don't care about this stuff no more he know he got visitation rights probably written back i'm sure they got some kind of contractual agreement when it comes to baby uh brooklyn you know what i'm saying they hopefully they will have if it is true and in, indeed his baby 
she would let him have some type of visitation rights, even if he's not going to pay, you know, one hill of a beans of child support. Really doesn't matter at this state anyway, because Kenya is a self-made woman, and she'll be glad to take care of her baby girl all by herself, okay? But that's just my feelings on it all, and I never believed she was married, because like I said, she never would produce for the cameras and for Bravo to show that she really was married. You know what I'm saying? So it just is what it is. But getting into the article that Black Atlanta, Atlanta Black Star wrote with Kirsten Willis. You know that's my girl over there at Atlanta Black Star. Always putting out salacious gossip entertainment news for me to partake of. Okay? Shout outs to her. All right? And the Atlanta Black Star company family over there. Because I get all just about majority of my news that I want to put out on my channel from over there. But let's get into the title of the article that Kirsten Willis uh, deemed as necessary for the uh, story she's trying to tell on the Moors or the dailies, however you see them, okay? The title reads, The Eyes Tell a Story. Kenya Moore's fans suspect some issues when Hubby Mark Daly looks unenthused at Atlanta United Games. Okay, a celebratory post that Kenya Moore made in honor of her husband's birthday took a turn Sunday when fans began suspecting there was trouble in paradise. Okay, you know Kenya like that social media. She loved posing for the camera. She loved putting baby Brooklyn up there, which I, I really hope she stopped doing because everybody don't need all them photos of your child, whereabouts or anything. I'm just saying, uh, Kenya, be more... Uh, suspicious and take more caution when you're doing that you know you could be on social media all you want to okay everybody used to you but don't always put your kids up there don't let them grow up in front of the camera you know because they may end up hating it and then what you gonna do when people start saying oh your child don't like being around you you know that we can say anything you know i wouldn't say anything but you know, i'm just saying it's a bad look so let us see them as they grow like one Years old, then we don't see them no more till they turn two. You know, gradual steps like that, but we don't need to see them every day. We really don't, can you? I mean, are you going to tell us where they go to school at, what time they eat breakfast, when they're going out to, for their play dates? We don't want to hear that. We don't need to hear all that. That's your personal life. So when people try to get into your personal life, you be want to throw up flags and say, you know, this is my life, you know. But no, because you don't just pretty much open the door. You're inviting everybody in by putting all of these different pictures out of you and your daughter. Lack of the other party, which is supposed to be a family unit, Mark Daly. See, that's where the question mark is coming in. How close is he to you two and the family unit? That's the question being raised now, Kenya. That's the question being raised now. But getting that was my uh, sidebar. We're going to get back to the article. It said, in honor of Mark Daly's 46th birthday, the star of Broadway, Bravo's housewife, or the real housewife of Atlanta, treated her husband of two years to a soccer game between Atlanta United LC and New York City LC at Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz Stadium on August the 11th. Okay, happy birthday, baby. Surprised him with tickets to the ATL UTD game. Thank you at Smooth Tickets uh, for always taking care of us. Now, I don't know if that was just some tickets she comped or whatever. I don't know, because... If you pay for your tickets, honey, are outright, you know, free of any gift giving, then why are you thanking people? So they must have just gave you some free tickets. Okay, to shout them out on your social media. Oh, Kenya, you don't do nothing just because to just to do it, do you? You're always doing it for fame, fortune, and publicity. My goodness, Kenya. Okay, but uh that was my pun tenant not written in this article. Okay, uh, then she had cat, uh, hashtag, we love soccer, ATL, that's Mr. Daly to you. You know, all that kind of craziness. Then they're going to say, more caption the Instagram selfie of the spouses taken in. The, uh, I think it's minor league, I don't know, session or M it's MLS. Uh, M um, uh, it's minor league soccer, I guess that's what it means, the abbreviation. It says game in which Atlanta won over New York City 2-1. to one. Okay, and if you go on to her Instagram account, I believe it is, uh, you'll see the troubling picture uh, that they're talking about. But I have it also a clip on or a visual in my um, video imaging when I'm telling my side of what I think about this story. 
There, he's in a, like a teal green, a seafoam green, light blue sweater. It looks like I'm like, good lord, y'all, listen, it's hot. It's been hot up in Atlanta. We come in with this kind of terror cloth. Oh, I don't know. He was hot that day. That probably made him mad too. He didn't dress appropriate for the weather. Okay, going back to the article, it says while Moore was all smiles, daily stoked appearance along fans who took note of the photo. Somebody wrote in her comment section, is he happy about that? I don't think he really wants to be there. He has a dead eye expression, which means he'd rather be somewhere else. He probably would. This is my opinion. He probably want to be with his partner. Okay. That way he probably seems like he want to be. He, he want to be anywhere else with Kenya. Not. I can tell you that. All right. That's just my opinion, guys. Then another commenter says, that's what I was thinking. He never looks happy when they're together. Someone else agreed. Some underlying issue is going on. The eyes tell a story. Yes, you can look at a person's demeanor, their body language, and their eyes. They tell a story about what they're feeling. Okay, that is so true. Uh, going back to the article, it says, but others offered up possible explanations as to why Daly, who is a New York-based restauranteur uh, and owner of SoCo, Soul Food Eatery in Brooklyn, New York, appeared to be appeared to have been upset. Why don't he look happy? Must be hot as fuck. Enjoy. His team lost. Actually, he does look happy when they are together. If he's anything like some men, he's probably not happy about the way the game is going. Still, the negativity was apparent, apparently enough to push more to shutter her comment section by Monday morning. <laughs> I bet she did cut it off. I know she did. Uh... Speaking back on the article, it says still the negativity was apparently enough to push. Okay, yeah, I've read that. Moore and Daly met in 2016, giving us a summary of how they met, where they went, how they got together, and where they are now. Okay, they met their mutual friend, uh, friend, ugh, friend Chef Robley, Robley Ali, um, People Magazine reported. They began dating in December of that year, uh, and they... And by June of 2017, the pair jetted off to elope in a private beach wedding in St. Lucia. Okay, so from two, they ain't really tell us when they met in 2016. You see what I'm saying? She said they began dating in December of that year. So really, you're talking about dating December. Okay, you dated you dated a man for six months before y'all got married. Are you kidding me? Girl, you too much, okay? But like I said, the wedding was in St. Lucia, so my thing is like, girl, you ain't married. You ain't, no. You ain't turned in no marriage certificate because it ain't definitely filed in Georgia because there's too many other commentators that was hot on your behind when y'all was supposedly had gotten married. Everybody was looking for your marriage certificate and not one create content creator or really big blog such as Atlanta Black star they couldn't even find it girl so who are you trying who are you trying to pull the wool over okay uh but anyway going back to the story it said i probably would have married him in 30 days the feeling was that strong more told the publication but we wanted to wait and get to know each other and make sure it wasn't an infatuation we needed to make sure it was actually real okay getting married the next day after you meet somebody 30 days or even six months you don't really know that person. You still don't really know that person. Even when you get married, you find out something totally new that you thought you knew about this person. All the person that know somebody straight up from the top of their head to the sole of their feet is the creator, the Lord himself. Other than that, we are learning as we go along. Now, were you too old? Were you not ch childbearing age? No, can you was all of that. You, you know, I mean, you was none of that. You could have waited a little longer, you know, at least a year, a year and a half before jumping the broom with the man. But, you know, it just said what it is. You did what you did. Made your resume family. And here we are. Okay. Um, then it goes back and said, um, Moore kept her hubby identities private at first and then. She then revealed it or finally revealed it to the world. She didn't feature him on Real Housewives of Atlanta until one of seasons, wait a minute, until one of seasons 10's final episode. It was rumored that Moore's lack of transparency about her nuptials and her marriage led Bravo to give her the boot from season 11. But a, a statement 
A then pregnant Moore issue October 2018 revealed she chose to step away from the show for the time being. No, you want to step away from that show because you knew we were going to find out. Or I was going to try to uh, put no money down and try to find out was it true or false, okay? Because I let the other people that's the trailblazers go on and do it. And I pick it back off them and I spin a story if I feel like talking about you. Because I already knew it was a hot mess, okay? You had Matt Jordan. Then you had this other guy. Then you had this other guy. He had this other guy who went on Big 103 and broke your behind down and said, no, it was all fictitious. Can you know how to play a role? She know how to try to put you in that situation because she was trying to marry that man off. I think he had his own business as well. But he wasn't big. He like, I don't even know you like that. You want me to play this big old role? Child, please. He heard him bust up Kenya's role, role playing on Big 103 with Frank Ski. <laughs> and that man was like, yeah, you sit your behind down somewhere. Ain't nobody really, really checking for you like that. You just want to be in entertainment to the day you die, I guess, and whatever you can do and will do to make it happen. Now, he wasn't going to be a part of that mess, okay? Then it said, uh, since then, the pair have been raising their nine-month-old daughter, Brooklyn Doris, daily together as they split their time between Georgia and New York. And my thing is like, no, nah, you spent too much time here. Well, he had, he happy. You come and go as you please, but don't sell uh, more manner until you definitely have some new deeds to get to. Because I really don't think, I think it's kind of winding down now, Kenya. The man feel like he needs his life back. He glad to have a beautiful daughter that I'm sure he would take care of. But he just don't seem like he's heterosexual. He really seems like he's on uh, he's gay and he wants to get back to that life, okay? Because the pictures, how they say a picture tells a, a thousand words as well as the eyes of the soul tells a lot about what a person is going through or what they've been through, the struggle or whatnot. So I'm like, I don't know, honey. Can you, I don't know how long can you gonna keep this lie up, but it seems like the man is getting tired of playing a role. He's been in it, invested in it, going on three years now. And he's tired. He wants his life back. That's what I'm getting. He wants to live that bachelorette life slash partner life. However, he gets down in New York. He wants his he wants his life back. He don't want to be connected to Kenya. He don't want to play the dutiful role of father and or dad and uh hubby. That's not him. He don't want to be all up in the mix. But like I said, she probably said, well, let me get back on Real Housewives of Atlanta to solidify myself. Because then when I do break up with you, they'll still keep me on. <laughs> I still can be kept on because Cynthia Bailey got divorced from her husband. And they still, they still kept her on. And she was dating and carrying on. And I probably can find me another man and, and make it real. Just go around. But right now, I need you to hold on just a little while longer. And he probably said, okay, but how, how big my check going to be? How big my check going to be? Because this, uh-uh. I'm tired of sneaking around. <laughs> yeah, but that was my take on this whole little salacious story that Atlanta Black Star put out uh, with the help of their journalist, Kirsten Willis, honey. It was published today. Yes, it was. They don't give me the time it was published. Maybe it's the standard time. Maybe it's Pacific a mountain standard time. I don't know what zone we were in, but they cut this this piece, put it to print, and it's out for the media, the whole world to see. Okay? So y'all like my video. Y'all go and subscribe if you haven't. And share my videos, honey. What y'all waiting on? Okay? But I will be back. You know it's Monday. It's Girls Cruise. And I do love that show, honey. I do, I do, I do. I just hope Maya and what's her name? Uh, Chili give me something other than to just keep putting them down. And I hate to pay, put black women down, but when they when they act real ugly and they don't have to act ugly, that gets on my nerves. They turn all their beauty on the outside to a, a, a Frankenstein to me on the inside as well as the out. That's how I start looking at them. Because I don't care what somebody did to you if it was unfair and you saying this this is how or what you took from the situation. This is why you act this certain way. If you know it's fucked up, 
You know what I'm saying? That's a messed up way of living and being. Change it. Just because somebody treated you wrong don't mean you come and treat the next person wrong. Change it. Be the light that you want to see in yourself and others. Okay? The light that you, positive light that you see in others, put it in your own capsule, vessel, and portray that. Instead of all this backbiting that you don't get along with women, because women too catty, and da 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 No, you too catty. Okay? You too. And you know I'm talking about Maya. Y'all know I'm talking about Maya. But anyway, just to end this video, uh, peace and blessings to you all. Hope y'all like it. But like again, I said subscribe, like my videos, okay? And share. All right? But subscribe first. Then like, then share. Okay? All right. We got that rolling. We got that solidified. I will see y'all next video. Peace out. Bye.